What's up guys, Jake Adams coming back to you live from Reef Palooza Orlando 2017. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's uh, sneak peek preview video of the show because uh, you can see there was quite a line that uh, formed at the beginning of this show. And uh, just when I thought the line was uh, ending, it turned a corner and saw that there was a ton more people. There must have been three or 400 people in line and boy was it worth it because when the doors opened, it was a total madhouse. I don't even know how long it took for everybody to file in. They were, they'd already bought their tickets, so it just took this much time to get to file this many people through the doors. And uh, it was totally worth it because I know a lot of you really, really got a lot out of all the different coral vendors. So as you saw from yesterday's uh, preview video, the vendors worked really, really hard, put together a lot of really great frag tanks. And as soon as the doors open, it was business time. Everybody was shopping for corals, uh, grabbing the frags that they wanted, but there's still so many corals and so many tanks that uh, there's still gonna be a lot of great corals to look at. It's just incredible how far the reef aquarium scene has come and the diversity of corals and colors and sizes and exotic species that are available to us in the reef aquarium hobby. I would even go so far as to say that coming to a major reef aquarium show like Reef Palooza is like stepping into a living atlas of corals. Uh, you could have named just about any single species of corals across the entire taxonom taxonomic tree and there was so much to see. But reef aquariums aren't just about corals, there's a lot of great fish here at Reef Palooza. Here's a gem tang in one tank and another gem tang. So this is kind of a nice surprise to see uh, a couple specimens of gem tangs. And there was also a very unique uh, uh, koi tang. Um, these are not for everybody. Their colors can be uh, all over the map, but each one is unique. And if that's not your taste, there was also a bunch of different grades of uh, designer clownfish from Picassos to snowflakes, frostbites, uh, everything in between. And of course, there was some classics like Bangai Cardinal Fish, uh, Rasses, uh, some Captive Bread, uh, Coral Beauties kicking around, and just a little bit of everything. Before I dive into the main event, I just want to give you a quick look around at some of the different uh, accessories that were available uh, here at Reef Palooza. And uh, one thing that's still really tickling my fancy is this wide diversity of sumps. Uh, you know, for years it seems like all the sump designs and models were pretty stagnant. But in recent years, uh, all kinds of manufacturers have really uh, taken a try at perfecting the classic aquarium sumps. Some of them are styled with different colored acrylic and uh, others are just totally souped up um, with every bell and whistle you could possibly want. Uh, some of you that know me know that I am a kind of a gearhead and I'm always looking out for some uh, really interesting new products. Um, so the first one that I really was looking forward to see here at Reef Palooza is the new Focustronic LED. Um, just like any other LED spotlight, it's got uh, multiple channels of color control. But what it does uh, really interesting is it actually uh, swivels its head from side to side um, to change the angle going into the tank. So I can trace uh, a light pattern inside your tank and give overall better spread. One company that I was pleasantly surprised to get some FaceTime with is Hanna Instruments. Um, now, in recent years, Hanna has become a lot more consumer facing because uh, for the most part, they make a lot of uh, laboratory testing equipment. And one of the devices they put out recently is this Bluetooth pH probe. Now, this probe is just a uh, pH monitor, uh, but it does so very accurately. And one of the ways that it saves on cost is by interfacing with um, a variety of different smart devices like your phones and tablets and um, that reduces the cost and um, what's cool about that Bluetooth connectivity is uh, there's no wires uh, coming from this particular probe so it's really accurate it's not meant to be used all the time um, but it's a really interesting device for uh, keeping an eye on pH in the aquarium it's uh, way beyond the scope of this video to tell you about all the new gear here at Reef Palooza. Here's the new uh, KH Guardian. It's an alkalinity monitor and controller, so it uh, keeps an eye on your alkalinity and keeps it boosted. There's some really, really cool um, new rocks from Marco Rocks um, and Two Little Fishes. And uh, these rocks are actually sliced in pieces um, that makes you uh, able to stack them, uh, kind of like Legos, and it really uh, allows uh, users to 
get really creative with their aquascape. Um, whether you have a small tank or medium sized tanks, uh, these Dax rocks are really porous, really interesting, and I uh, look forward to testing them out in a tank for myself in the future. Uh, here's another really interesting device. It's a subsidiary of Ming Trading called Puck, Pop, Pop, Po, Pop, Po. And um, it's an all-in-one overflow box, if you can believe it. It's in the shape of a tube, um, but basically it performs the exact same functions as an overflow box in a much smaller and more affordable package. It's not for the biggest tanks, but for small tanks, it'll get the job done. You know, since this is a frag show, there's a ton of different accessories for frag vendors. And I really love what Zen Reef is doing with a variety of frag plugs, frag holders, and uh, more recently, for the professionals, they have these pre-made uh, laser cut, um, I guess, price tags that go right in the tank and they're fluorescent with a, a bunch of different colors. Alternative Reef is also in the house, which is a bunch of different ceramic plugs, including some sil silicone plugs for their different uh, frag mounts. Moving up into the uh, bigger ticket items, it's always nice to see some exotic LED lights like this uh, Mitris from GHL. And uh, still interesting to see that uh, people are still in the market for um, T5s, especially in combinations with LEDs. This is a new high-tech accessory from Neptune Systems, the Fluid Monitoring Kit. Um, I've actually been using a standalone, uh, basically, flow meter, digital flow meter, to uh, keep an eye on the flow uh, going through one of my aquariums. So this is a really neat accessory that will uh, integrate well into the uh, Neptune system uh, ecosystem of aquarium devices and uh, I always like seeing it all completely set up and uh, put together seeing how all the modules fit together but uh, Neptune systems is not the only game in town because there's a new company called eCoral and uh, they have an all-in-one package of an aquarium controller and uh, we've seen this before and I discussed it with them a little bit uh, basically kind of standoffish but uh, they explained to me that they're actually a software manufacturer first um, so hopefully they can really improve the um, the user experience of uh, aquarium controllers. It should be a you know fully fledged uh, cloud based uh, control system with a variety of probes and water level sensors uh, available soon. Elos USA has a new kit called the Coral Color Set, which basically includes some um, basic test kits and additives to keep your corals up. Uh, another really fun accessory here is um, this automatic pre fertile roll curl called the uh, roller mat. Um, this is basically like an automatic filter sock that uh, basically rolls out as it's being used up. I've been a real big fan of these for a really long time and I just really need to make a place and a time to uh, install one of these in my aquariums because I'm dying to have some personal uh, experiences with this new type of aquarium technology. I spent most of my time out on the show floor, but I did get a chance to walk through the uh, sprawling tables of raffle prizes. And uh, one thing that caught my eye, this is really highly polished reef tank from uh, Tank Me. Um, just a really well-built aquarium. This is the grand prize for tomorrow, Sunday. And uh, whoever wins this is going to be a very lucky reefer. I love that external overflow box uh, built right into the back of the tank. All right, that's enough jibber jabbing, and it's time to show you guys some juicy corals. And uh, I guess I should explain this really lovely living coral sculpture by Reef Gardener. It's a meteor shower cyphastria that's been uh, grown over, basically, uh, I'm guessing like a cement uh, pouring, and uh, looks really, really cool in the aquarium, very stylish. It goes without saying that the uh, bounce shroom craze is in full swing, and there's a ton of coral amorphs and mushroom anemones here. This is a red variant of the Australian interstellar mushroom, and um, there's a lot of up and coming strains of bounce mushrooms. Um, we got some biohazard styles, some toxic bounces, and uh, a whole bunch of others. So there's a ton of different coral amorphs to look at, some of unnamed, some of just starting to develop uh, bounce mushrooms or bounce uh, vesicles. And um, one vendor in particular had a tank full of these um, uh, basically biohazard bounces in the making. Like I said before, uh, no matter what you're into, there's a ton of different corals, those big Palatoa grandis, big spread of Stylocene yellow, and uh, here's a really neat bicolor long tentacle plate, uh, another look at a really fantastic uh, Homophilia australis, and uh, man, I can just go on and on and on and show you a bunch of different corals, um, things you've seen before, things you haven't. 
Uh, in the Haven category is a beautiful Rhizotrochus. Um, we really don't get to see these that often, so uh, every opportunity I get to see one uh, completely open is uh, one that I'll take. So really, really cool to see this coral. One group of corals that is particularly hot uh, right now is uh, Australophilia wilsoni. These are kind of like a cross between a Symphilia and a, and a Micromusa lord. And uh, just right now, you know, they were gone for like a little while, but right now there's an incredible spread of all different colors and sizes. So really neat to see these guys again. The other group of corals that's making a particularly strong showing is not a coral at all, but a flower anemone. And I think I found the ultimate uh, multicolor flower anemone. Um, this particular one was a really high dollar specimen, but um, you know, it's just, it's hard to pick between all the different colors of so many crazy beautiful flower anemones. And uh, I actually caved and so far, this is the only one that I got. So I got this one, kind of a rainbow looking uh, flower anemone from Belize and the orange one next to it. So that's gonna wrap it up for uh, day one coverage of Reef Palooza Orlando 2017. It's time to uh, produce this video, get it out there because we have another full day to go tomorrow. Uh, I think tomorrow I'm gonna do a little bit more coral shopping and I can't wait to share that to with you guys. Um, a sincere thank you to everybody who walked up to me at the show, who said hello, introduced themselves, told me about their tanks, and uh, told me which videos they liked the most. So uh, definitely tune in tomorrow because we have uh, a lot more coverage to go. And I'll see you guys at the show.